Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. We're here in the digital barn in Prescott, Arizona, and Mark is going to show us some continuation of his warp speed editing tips. Yes. Right? Uh, yes. He's got a tutorial called Warp Speed Editing, and he wants to, I don't know, make an adjustment on some of the things he's shown? Well, it's actually interesting that um, the tutorial has been really popular, and um, uh, we've had some people write in, yeah, you could also do this, and you could also do that. And have, have these are Mac geeks, aren't it. they? Yes, Mac geeks. yes. And we're going to give some specific credit as we do a few of these other ones. But um, uh, we've taken those ideas and expanded on the tutorial and added elements into it. And that's a free update to anybody who owns that tutorial. You'll get notified, and there's new markers of a different color in there. You'll be able to jump right to that new content and get some new additional tips. So if you've already seen the tutorial, go back because it's a growing, changing thing that has additional tips in there. So what I wanted to talk about today is, uh, you know, in Final Cut Pro, we have these smart collections. Yes. Which are awesome, mm -hmm. right? You can set criteria in order to find clips that meet any criteria you, you decide. Right. Yeah, little Boolean operators. Yes. I like to say the word Boolean. <laughs> it sounds well, cool. you'll have another opportunity here. Yeah, it's this Halloween. Boolean. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So I want to talk about um, smart folders in the Finder. Right. Uh -huh. Not even in uh, Final Cut, but in the Finder. And I'm so show we're not you. going to be in Final Cut. We're not going to be in Final Cut, but I think the Final Cut Pro editors will find this useful. So I'm in the Finder. I'm going to hit Command N for new window. And you'll notice down below, I have a, in the sidebar several of these gear icons. These are smart folders. And I have one for Final Cut Pro 10 libraries. And what I'm going to do is just hide that search criteria. It's usually hidden by default there. We'll come to that in a minute. So immediately, this shows me um, all of the Final Cut Pro libraries that are on all of my connected volumes. And it's, it's, a, it's a dynamic thing. So if I connect other volumes, it will change. It scans everything. It's nice, but isn't there a piece of software that does that for you? Like there is. So there's a piece of software called Final Cut Library Manager, mm -hmm. right. which is a great thing. It's like nine bucks and highly valuable. Um, and does much more than just show you libraries. It allows right. you to dig into the events, yeah, manage, the projects. Manage proxy media, all that stuff. Delete extra yeah. media, right. everything. But this, to me, this is a great way of very quickly just finding a project I need. All I need to do is find a project. I don't remember the name or where it is. And this is an easy way for me to get there. And you'll notice I've also created smart folders for camera archives. Nice. So camera archives I've created on any connected drives will appear there uh, for motion projects. See how I need to find motion projects so I could take this and sort by date modified and immediately see new um, projects I've created. I even have one called Alpha Channel that allows me to quickly search for any graphics that contain transparency. Right. Because we know how you like to can't find stuff on his drive. He's always looking for stuff. I, it's true. It's true. I'm always looking for stuff. So smart folders are, really save me a lot here. But what I want to show you here is um, for the Final Cut libraries is how to make this. So I'm going to select that again. You mean how to make the smart how folder? How to make the smart folder. And I'm going to right click on it to show the search criteria upon which this smart folder is based. So see, we see here a bunch of smart of criteria. So first is the file extension is .fcp bundle. And then we have this Boolean. <laughs> I, I was, yeah, that was your cue, Boolean, Boolean operator. That's right, yeah, Boolean operator. <laughs> none of the following are true. <laughs> so what gets excluded from this collection is any Final Cut Pro libraries that have a name that contains PST, PDT. Well, what the heck are, are those? Oh, I does look from, they look familiar, but I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what they are. So those are Final Cut Pro library backups. Ah, ah PD, yeah. Pacific Daylight Time. Yes, um, yes. They're automatically, Mountain Central or whatever. They're all automatically timed with a, tagged with a local time. Mountain Standard, sorry. Yes. <laughs> so I want to show you how to do this here. So what I'm going to do well, wait, is... Wait, just to clarify. So yes. all of those backups don't show in your search criteria. That's the right, big thing. You want I don't to exclude wanna, all that stuff. I don't want to see all those backups. And we'll see that when we make it. So I'm going to hide the search criteria. And I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to go to the File menu and choose a new Smart Folder. And there's two little tricks in making a smart folder that I want to show you. I'm going to start by clicking the little plus button here at the top right. And instead of kind, I want file extension. And file extension shows up in my drop down menu, but it probably will not show up in yours because I actually well, added your it. Well, your computer's better than mine? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to get to that, you want to choose other. And this is where things get really kind of exciting to me because these are their search attributes, and there are, let me wow, scroll down, there are them. hundreds and hundreds of search attributes that allow you to create very sophisticated searches. So, for instance, there's um, you know, aspect ratio, or there's audio bit rate, or there's even a codec. So you could search to show me all the media on my connected drives that meet certain codecs. All your ProRes clips, all yeah. your H.264 exactly. clips. Exactly. 
exactly. And then if we scroll down, there's date, there's, there's, it's worth exploring this because there's many things you could use here, but I'm gonna go down to file extension. And you notice I've added a little check mark for the That's in not menu checked column. By default. Nothing's checked by default. Ah. But anything that you check here, I'll click cancel, will then show up in this pop-up menu. Nice. So that's how you get it to show up. Right. So I'm gonna choose Apple file extension. I didn't want to clutter the menu with a bunch of stuff. I'll type .fcp bundle, and immediately all of my Final Cut Pro libraries on all my connected volumes appear. Oh, by the way, one other thing about Final Cut Library Manager, what it does that this doesn't, is it shows you all your disconnected libraries as well, once it's scanned them. Right. And this only will show you connected what's ones. currently connected. Yeah. So from here, what I want to do is exclude all this mountain standard time, uh, and if we scroll through, there's some Pacific daylight time. Yeah. It depends where uh, you were when that particular library was being backed up. Yeah. Uh, it might be GMT if you're not in the United States, mm -hmm. so depending on what you have there. So here's the trick. If you want to be able to exclude multiple items, it's really not obvious how to do that. You can click this plus button all day long, and you'll never get to that uh, field that said none of the following are true. So the trick here is to hold the option key down. So if I hold the option key down, Ooh, notice the how the, changed. Yeah, the plus changes to these ellipses. Three so dots. If, if I option click on that, then we get this Boolean operator, any, all, or none. So I'm gonna choose none of the following are true, and then I'll choose name, and then I'll choose contains, and I'll do underscore MST, and we see right away that all of those underscore MSTs disappear. Now you got to do, now you got to do the gotta, rest, yeah. PDT, MSC, So I've got PDT, so I'll, LSD, do, I'll do one more just so you can see you can PDA, do all this. PDA, PTA. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So underscore PDT, yeah. I'll do that, and all those will disappear. Uh, so I need to do it for any, there's, there's Eastern there. I need to do add a few there, but you just click the plus button and do that. Once you're done, you click the save, and I'll just show you this. When you click save, leave this checked, add to sidebar. Okay, because I found if you don't check that, you can go find these searches. They're saved in user library saved searches, sure. but you can't drag them to the sidebar. Oh, <laughs> so you have to check or, that box. Yes, if you didn't check right. it, you had to create the thing right. all over again. Right. But you, that's checked by default, so then right. you can save and it would show right. up in your sidebar there. Right. So um, I'm gonna say don't save. So just, I find this really useful to quickly access, uh, you know, where are all my libraries? I don't have to worry about where I stored them because I, I get a little messy and I depend on smart collections in Final Cut and smart folders in the Finder to keep me organized. Yeah, that's fantastic. So if you want to check out Mark's Warp Speed editing tutorial, it's on our site. And as he mentioned earlier, it's, it's being updated with uh, the new content. Um, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We're adding new content every week. Uh, follow us on Twitter and uh, Facebook. We thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next week.